Hello everybody, today I'm in the third room with the mercury vapor can lights. The one with the just two can lights and the replacement troffer is on the other side of this wall right here. And on the other side of that room is the first room that we looked at. This room is just like the first, but flipped. You can still see it has the unique wall here. So, let's go ahead and try the lights. This one's for the troffers. I don't hear the can lights starting yet. Oh, there we go, I heard him go. Apparently the middle switch turned them on. Let's see what the end one does. That just turns on the middle one. So I heard them start. These all have the same bulbs in them. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. If you look very closely, which I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick this up, you can see on the side of the can, right in the middle of the screen, uh, a little stamp that tells you the wattage and everything else. Kind of unique. You can see the bulb. Here's the next one. Sorry for the shakiness. The third one. Fourth one. And the fifth one. This room has all of them working, whereas the second room None of them worked. There was only two in there anyway. And the first room, only four of them worked. So, let's go ahead and take another close look at them while they're warming up. As mentioned in my first video of these three rooms, the outdoor can lights, which you can see right there, used to be mercury vapor as well. But they were converted to LED. I think it was an energy audit type thing that the university did, but it only applied to outdoor lighting. So the indoor lighting, such as these mercury vapor can lights, stayed the same, which is pretty neat. So let me go ahead and zoom out. And you can see them start to brighten up. I wish they were on their own switch, but they're not. Very nice green hue to them. Very interesting place for them to be too in a classroom. Let me get through these desks here and stand back by the switches. You can get a better view of them turning on. Seems like the middle one must have the newest bulb in it or the one that has the least wear as the other ones must have darker arc tubes as you can tell by how dim they are. This one right here in the middle seems to be the second brightest and the other three seem to be pretty dim. Now I used to have a class in one of these rooms and I remember sitting in the middle row in the mercury vapor light shining down it's always a lot more intense, as you can tell, than the actual fluorescent fixtures. So now that they're pretty much almost warmed up, let's take a look at the bulbs again. I'm going to try to zoom here on my iPhone. Let's get it up there so we can take a nice look at the etch, or at least attempt to do so. Take a look at one of these, nice and bright. There we go. Oh, of course the camera's going to mess with it. Hopefully you can see it. This is the brightest one. Must have the newest bulb in it. Of course the camera's going to overcompensate for how bright it is. But that's okay. Hopefully you can see the etch, kind of. There you go. And these down here, you can see a crack in the uh, phosphor. That's not a crack in the bulb itself. When they were putting the assembly of the arc tube in there, scratched the side phosphor off, and that's why you see that crack there. But like I said, it's not really a crack. This one's pretty bright too. I thought it was a lot dimmer than that, but this one also has a little crack in it. Also it's from the same thing, you can see the support for the arc tube, the assembly in there. When it was pushed into the bulb, it scraped the side and took off some of the phosphor. So this one's pretty bright now too. 
they've all gotten nice and bright now. So let me go ahead and head on back over to the switches. I'm gonna like hit everything. Anyway, after kicking that desk, you can see all the can lights all lit up in their nice mercury vapor light. Very cool. I love these three rooms a lot because of this feature. Hopefully the university doesn't get rid of it anytime soon, but they seem to not care too much. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of the five, well this is the third room, of the five mercury vapor 100 watt can lights. Once again, I hope you enjoyed, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.